Last week, my boat was rocked in the worst possible way when a nasty gremlin caused some anxious moments regarding our gearbox. The guys also started working on a sliding table for our dinette. But I had my doubts as to just how solid it will be. We also finalized all our rubber seals for all our doors. This week we are given a scare. A really cuck scare. And we have a new competition for you. You do not want to miss this episode. It is a new week, it is a new day. And uh, you oaks are sharp, hey? I promise you after the last insert had a lot of feedback about how to get rid of all the rats and mice that are going to chow the wires inside Mariah and uh, lots of good ideas there. Uh, then, you know the title of my insert last week was Bursting the Bubble or When the Bubble Burst. Well, my bubble got burst when it came to my heavy duty license. My license is a C1 license, which was pointed out by one of you, which means I can drive a vehicle up to 16 tons, but I can tow maximum a trailer with a gross vehicle mass of 750 kilograms. So unless I strip that chimney down to nothing, I ain't gonna be able to tow it on a trailer, legally. Let me put that in, stress that, legally. So yeah, that was, it was a wake up call, but I'm not going to go and apply for my EB license, will then allow me to tow anything. It's just too much of a mission. So, without any further ado, uh, let's get inside the vehicle and show you something that was bugging me last week and is incredible. Just check this out. The guys were working on a table leg for our chilling area and I really thought it was a bit flimsy. Well, the boys have proved me wrong. Over to Brahm. Pull it out. Yeah. You can eat and do whatever you like. And then if you want to pull it back, you just turn your table. You can otherwise push it in, it's going to be a little bit less. Or you can turn it around and it will go back all the way towards the side of the bus. Out of the way. And if you want to remove the table totally, you just unscrew the leg, store it, and the table becomes a base for a second bed. I hardly had time to pick my nose when I was shown the final stabilized foot for the table. A simple, functional system. Winter has arrived on the lower south coast, but inside East Coast Scratch and Den, things are hot. Uh, you see what's going on in Marai. We've got Ofka Donald underneath the vehicle. We've got Rocky inside the vehicle. And we've got Michael Plant Chris who is sorting things out with the heating system. This time it is over to Michael Plant Chris. Then it opens the hot okay. water, allows hot water to go inside. And hot water? Yeah, hot water. Okay. That's to, to for your dismissal and all that. Now it is off Grid Donald's turn to confuse me while he works on the grey water tank plumbing. The pipe itself will be able to screw. It'll have a, something like that sitting there, and we'll be able to screw it in, and then... Yano well fine. Inside Mirai, Rocky is busy finishing off a few things. He has installed the catches and handles on our only tall storage space in the vehicle. He has also placed the catches on a few smaller storage units. Just next to our tall storage unit, our hand basin has been installed inside the ablutions. We will use a handheld shower unit to fill the basin which will drain onto the shower floor and the water will exit through the drain on the shower and go to our grey water tank. The plumbing is pretty simple. To prevent nasty smells from going back into the shower, Donald is placing a U-trap along the line. We will also have breather pipes to prevent any buildup of pressure in the grey water tank. The multi-talented off-grid Donald then gave me a quick run-through of our sound system. I chose a system that has CarPlay, which we can use to link our mobile phones to the audio system. 
We also have six pioneer speakers that should provide enough oomph for us to enjoy our music while on the road. Donald has also hooked up our overhead map lights. While on the topic of lights, although not finally installed, all our rear lights are now connected. The brake and reverse lights as well as the indicator lights. It is Thursday afternoon, quite late Thursday afternoon, getting uh, close to the close of business. Came down just to see uh, how the Oaks are doing. And uh, yeah, still a lot of activity around Marae. Uh, we also have been graced by the presence of our glass man, the Oak, who is doing our windscreen and the side windows, uh, Eugene. So uh, let me see what he is busy doing to beautify our windscreen. These side windows were custom made for the sides of the windscreen by Senna Windows in Johannesburg. Eugene is our local glass guy and he has been tasked with installing them for us. We are not that far from installing Marai's large wraparound windscreen. Something else that Eugene will be doing for us. Eugene's little company is called Hamilton's Auto Glass and he is another small business here on the lower south coast who really really delivers you know and uh, it's just something that you wish everybody would do uh, when guys give you brilliant amazing service i will sing their praises from the treetops and recommend them to anybody and uh, eugene is one of those oaks yes i did say treetops and the saying should be sings praises from the rooftops but i will do it from the roof and the treetops okay our windows, all made by Senna Windows, continue to blow me away. Both Mariki and I love space. These windows help create that space within the confines of a small area. It was that small area that caused me to plutz. Plutz big time. I am really disturbed at something that has been observed. And that is a lot of dents and marks on our beautiful ceiling <sighs> now this thing is really installed um, to replace anything will be a huge mission my opinion is is that a lot of them are guys have been carrying stuff in here it's hit the roof and they've been little there's indents this stuff is while it's firm you know it's not made to be bang normally it's high up on a ceiling in a house here it's lower it's at head height you can touch it so you have to be careful uh, but there's a lot of these marks and uh, they're sticking out like sore thumbs and they are not acceptable so I'm like a bit freaked out about that but never fear when Brahm is near Abur marka plan Friday morning end of the week uh, my last day of filming and uh, <laughs> Those dents in the roof have really been eating me up and uh, what Brahm is busy with behind me is he's using a, um, a filler, a sealer to try and fill the little gaps, smooth it out and then match up um, a colour to paint over it and see if we can repair these little dings in the roof. It'll save us so much um, in, in time and effort and material it'll, because to replace the roof is just actually it's actually not really an option right now. I should have feedback for you regarding this fix in our next episode. Since I started putting these inserts out on YouTube, many of you would have heard me praising the Motorhome Club of SA. If you own a camper van or motorhome, you really should consider signing up. The club has chapters in every region of the country. There are great benefits regarding insurance as well as information concerning access to safe camping for motorhomes across Southern Africa. Well, the Motorhome Club of South Africa has come to the party in a big way and are sponsoring a prize. Uh, all you've got to do is guess Marai's weight. Easy peasy. We're going to be taking her to a Weybridge in the next few weeks and uh, we will reveal that weight when we do our reveal. So what can you win? Well, if you are not a member of the Motorhome Club of SA, you will win a free year's membership. If you are a member, your membership for the next year will be covered, paid, done, mahala by the Motorhome Club of SA. So this is how the competition is going to work. 
The lucky viewer who is the closest in predicting our big girl's weight as measured at our weigh-in wins the prize. If more than one of you make the same correct guess, you all win the prize. Only entries that are mailed to makingmarai at gmail.com will be considered. No other entries will be accepted and the judge's decision is final. You must use Motorhome Club of SA Marai competition as your subject. Include your full name and contact number along with your answer. Competition closes on the 22nd of July. Winners will be informed at Marai's Reveal on the 29th of July. Failing that, as soon as possible after the reveal. Right, let's get back to our workshop action, where a mini reveal waited for me. Our 4.5 meter awning was having its first test session. Before we had deployed this awning to check it out, I was very keen on having the, uh, the down supports attaching to the vehicle. So, you know, you'd have a, a bar running from there and secured to the vehicle there. It's just not really going to work that well and it's going to be more of a mission. So we're going to just stick to the normal, the straight, having that down, a couple of guy ropes. And uh, yeah, Brom was saying this is a... You know, with a bit of an effort to deploy it, but uh, the more we do it, the easier it'll become because of the, <laughs> nobody really knew what to do right now. So, uh, yeah, as I say, practice makes perfect, but I am very chuffed with the area that it covers and the whole look of it. It's, it's, it's awesome. The awning gives us plenty of covered space and is high enough not to be impacted when we use our cookers and ovens. Up front, the closing of Mariah's nose has begun. Chris has been working on one of the final panels for the nose. This panel will close the area below the grill. It will be painted black to blend in with the front bumper. Friday afternoon, come down for one of my last visits of the week. And fantastic to see Mariah being lowered down onto her tires. We got rubber on the ground, boys and girls. We have got rubber on the ground. This is the first time that Mariah is on her tires with all her weight on board. I nearly had plutz number two when Chris pumped the tires to 2.5 bar and I saw how flat the tires were. Were we too heavy? I then read the manufacturer's recommendation as stated on the tire and it should have been around Five bar. Okay, Houston, we have a wee little problem. Uh, as soon as we put on our tires, uh, we noticed all was not well. And it seems as though on this side of the vehicle, the passenger side of the vehicle, uh, there's something wrong with the leaf spring. Um, there's, uh, the vehicle's leaning this way. Uh, and there's about a gap difference about that size from this side to that side above the wheel. Whew. So I think uh, Brahms looked at it and it looks like we need to replace uh, some of the leaf spring. Mia Mama. Our beautiful Marai had a list, a hectic impediment. Uh, Philip, I see that leaf springs on that side, is, is, it looks like it went down. Uh, I think we must either replace one or two of them or buy a new one and put it in there just to support that it come, can come back to its level there. But it's definitely the leaf spring that's, that, that went pop. Definitely. Okay. So then there's the other option now that uh, we had the discussion with that air bells that we want to put in for you as well, that you can lift the bus wherever you want it. Uh, it's just going to be a huge verbetering, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it in English, yeah. but to help you with uh, leveling on the bus when you park and when you drive and all that. So it's going to work out beautifully. Okay, all right. So you, but you're still happy that we can get it to that it'll be safe? Yes, yes, Absol strong. absolutely. So at this late stage of our build, we need to fix the suspension. Not ideal. Brahm mentioned installing air bellows similar to these that I have googled. Next week, Chris and I are going shopping. But this kind of challenge, this late in the build, 
is something I could do without. Well, that is all we have time for this week. A fairly busy week, lots going on. And yeah, it ended on a note I didn't really want it to end on. And if you stand and look at the vehicle, you can see she's got a bit of a tilt. So, I don't know, because of me giving me big explanations about something, which means zilch, we have got to get this vehicle level, straight, and safe to drive. Bottom line, nothing else. Don't give me a thousand words, sort it out. Um, yeah, great news about our new competition. And uh, I hope you guys are on it already and uh, yeah another week gone one more week that I'm going to be filming then we're gonna take a break and after that will be our reveal very exciting times it really really is but every now and so often I feel like is it gonna happen man what for these little things that keep cropping up but I trust Brom and I know he'll sort it um, so yeah guys um, as per usual, please, we live in dangerous, hectic, weird times. Look after your family, look after your possessions, look after your property, and above all, keep safe. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You will find us under A Dream Called Mirai. Until next time, keep your dreams alive.